what's up? Phil Mafroge here from GrowTheVoice.com and today I've got a video from somebody that I look up to and that is Graham from the TheRecordingRevolution.com and he's covered some topics that um, I wanted to talk about but he says it much better than I could and um, that is some key tips for you to advance your career in the music industry, how to get ahead and how to make it. So what I've done is I've got the video actually in this video so you can watch it, but I've only got part of the video playing. So if you want to watch the entire thing, go to his, I've put the original link down below in the description section. And I want you to go there and send him some love. Say, Phil sent me over here. Okay, go over there, leave a comment on his on his video and say, Phil sent me over here. Send him some love. And uh, uh, how about we jump straight in the video? Secret number one is you have to be seen. If you are a band or a musician or an artist that you want to break into the music industry and have lots of people hear your music, no one's gonna hear your music if they don't know who you are. Very obvious, right? So you cannot, and hear me now, you cannot sit at home and make your music, which is possible, make it sound great, and then just keep it there at home. You have to be seen. Your music has to be seen. You have to be seen. Forget the music for a second, though, because it's you ultimately that are the ambassador for your music. And if people get to know you and like you, they will then listen to your music. So you need to be seen. What does that look like? That can mean getting involved in your music community locally. A lot of my students do that. They just find out where bands are playing. They get to know all the other bands. They get to know all the clubs. They get to know all the venues. They get to know all the restaurants. They get to know uh, city council. They get to know all the people that would know anything about music in their city. And they become friends with them or they just go to events. It's all about just existing around other people so that they know that you exist and things can happen if you are seen. All the greats that I know of, they started to get involved in the music industry by moving, moving to LA, moving to New York, moving to Nashville so they could be seen by other engineers and get in the mix, no pun intended. Even if you can't move to those places, you need to do things and attend events and get to know people online, it can be physical or online, to be seen so that you can break into the music industry. They will not come find you is basically what I'm saying. And this is totally applied to me in my space. I'm gonna give you that application in a minute. So the number one secret is you have to be seen. I'll come back to that in a minute. Number two secret is you have to focus on serving others and not yourself. This is absolutely critical. Anytime you have an opportunity to interact with someone in the music business, whether it's an engineer, whether it's a producer, whether it's a broadcaster, whether it's a news outlet, whether it's a manufacturer of gear that you use, whether it's an A&R rep, whether it's just a listener or a fan, you have to remember in that moment, in that interaction, and in general, the secret is find a way to serve them and don't worry about yourself. Don't worry about what you need. Don't worry about passing your CD out or hoping you get a break. Just when you meet somebody and you're getting to know them, find out what do they need? How can you achieve their goals and their dreams? Even if it's a small little thing, like what can I do for you today? Or a long-term thing, hey, what can I help with you with over the next 12 months? Can you help them? Can you serve them? He's somebody I definitely look up to. I see him further along the path than me. And uh, those are the types of people I like to watch. Uh, they're only watch about two or three different YouTube channels, and they are by people that I want to become more like. People like Graham, who who uh, there's not a there's not a um, shred of bitterness in this dude. This guy is just really genuine. He's very positive. He brings a really good vibe, and his videos are just packed full of great content for his audience and that's what I want to become more like. The people you hang out with are the people that the type of energy you're going to start bringing into yourself. So if you hang out with a bunch of freeloaders, whiners, complainers, negative people, you're going to get that energy inside of you. If, if you don't want those things, you've got to start hanging out with people who are above you, people who bring a good vibe so that you can start to learn the good things that they, that they can offer. Those of you who take lessons with me, you notice when I start the lesson, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? And it's like it's high energy straight off the gate because I'm trying to bring you up, I'm trying to bring you up. You know, some people you take, I take lessons with them and the way they talk is like, it's this monotone voice. They're like, and it's like, dude, you want to be a performer? You want to be a singer and you're doing that? You're putting me to sleep. How do you expect to keep an audience on their feet? How do you expect to keep the energy going 
you like meh, 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 talking like that all the time. You know, bring some energy. You gotta, you gotta have. This goes so much beyond singing. Being a performer is about the social energy too. So, and that's kind of what Graham's going in about. Is that you've got to have uh, social. You have, you've got to have good social skills. And especially if you want to be a singer, you've got to have that. You've got to be good at being social. And that's another reason why I recommend RSD Tyler. A real social dynamics. He's a dating coach, but I watch him because he has a lot of good information on eliminating that needy vibe, bringing that charismatic energy and of abundance, that feeling of abundance where you you don't need anything, so that you're just focusing on helping others, bringing a good energy to the situation. If you are a servant to others, if that's your default, if people meet you and they're like, this person just always wants to help me. That is attractive, that is magnetic. And the music industry is built around people who know people who like people. People get gigs because they're like, oh, I have a guy and I know him, he's amazing. Basically, I really like him. You have to have a level of talent for sure. I'm going to assume that you are working your butt off to, to master your craft, to get good at this thing, to display your work in the best way possible, but talent won't cut it. You have to be talented and then you have to be a servant of human beings because if you're cool and you love people well, serve people well, always wanna help them, they're gonna to wanna to bring you in on something rather than someone else who's just as talented but isn't magnetic like you are. Very, very important. Always find a way to serve someone because people are drawn to that and you will get opportunities. Now, let me pull those two secrets together uh, in a practical way. For me, in my in my experience with my business and with my growth through the audio industry, the music industry, and a bunch of things I saw this weekend. So I was just at the NAMM show in Anaheim and it's just filled with people. You got gear manufacturers, you've got the best producers in the world, you've got artists, you've got bands, uh, you've got media, you've got press, everybody's there that's involved with music. And I go to NAMM not to look at gear. I can look at gear on the internet or in a catalog. I go to NAMM to be seen and to serve people. These two secrets. When I first started mixing bands and I was doing the recording revolution, I had a bunch of indie bands that I was working on and nobody knew about my blog. But the blog was growing, the YouTube channel was growing, but I started to go to the NAMM show. This was probably six years ago. Went to the NAMM show for the first time, flew all the way across the country, spent my time, money to get hotel, plane ticket, rental, rental car, food, to walk around the NAMM show and just meet people. Now, I am not extroverted by nature. I am introverted, meaning I'd rather just stay at home and work on music or hang out with my kids and my wife or my friends. It takes a lot more energy for me to go out to a place where there's 100, 200,000 people and extrovert and meet people. But I did it and I would walk around, go to brands that I knew. I'm like, hey, I use your products. I love your guys' stuff. Is there anything I can do for you? Like, who are you again? I'm Graham from The Recording Revolution. Oh, I think I've heard of your website. Now they have a face, now they have a connection. They saw me, but I'm asking, what can I do for you? Or is, are you doing anything cool this year? Can, can we give away some of your gear to my, to my audience? These are brands that I love and trust. Can I serve you? I was going up to engineers and producers, some of the top, top guys that I love, guys that are making the Grammy Award winning records and going up to them and saying, hey, I love your work on this record. Ask them a question, how did you do this? Hey, is there anything I can do for you? Now, there's nothing I can do for these guys. They are here and I am here, especially six years ago. And yet I would approach them and say, is there anything I can do for you? And most of the time they'd probably laugh and say, I don't think so. Some of them though, they wanted to get their brand out to more people, so they wanted to be interviewed by me. Or they said, well, hey, maybe we can do something together on your YouTube channel. They just, they want to help, and they just thought it was cool, and then so I offered, and so you never know what kind of connections will happen if you don't go. So my point being is every year I go, I have to be seen and to serve people, and I continue to do this to this day. I was just there this weekend meeting people, encouraging people, what can I do for you? What do you need? How can I help you? I have been brought into so many cool things that I don't really deserve to be brought into. I have been given opportunities that I wouldn't normally have been given had I not been known, seen, and liked by people because I try to serve them as opposed to take from them. Am I perfect at this? No, but it's really a way of life for me because I see it working in all aspects of life. And it definitely works in the audio industry and in the music industry. And being at NAMM again this year, I'm reminded of this because everyone I meet, they all, 
but get brought into things because they're there together. It's like, hey, I've never met you, but you seem cool. Here's my car. We should do something together sometime. Why did that person get an opportunity? Because they were there being seen in that moment. Humans like humans that they know and trust and have done something with, and they seem like a cool person. And if you're not being seen by them, they're never going to know you, get a chance to like you or trust you. And if you're always taking and always worried about moving your career forward as opposed to thinking about somebody else for once, you won't be very likable. But I was seeing so many deals and opportunities being connected in front of me that weren't even related to me from my friends, from other people, because I'm seeing people interact and serving one another. And the people that have the coolest attitudes that are so humble and so about other people, those are the people getting connected and hooked up. And I saw a bunch of that happen this weekend at NAMM. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about it and what you'd like to see more of. Take care and I'll see you next video.